Guess what? Stability AI, the company behind Stable Diffusion, recently released a new version of their image generator called Stable Diffusion XL 1.0. This new update makes the image generator incredibly powerful, surpassing other image generators like Midjourney, Leonardo AI, and Dolly 2. In today's video, we're diving deep into the exciting new features of SDXL 1.0 and guide you on leveraging this tool to create a robust, passive income using a straightforward yet powerful business approach. That's not all. Stay with us until the end for a secret strategy to boost your sales and profits. Let's dive in. For a while, Stable Diffusion faced tough rivals like Midjourney and Leonardo AI in the image generation arena, but the tide turned with the introduction of Stable Diffusion XL 1.0. What sets SDXL 1.0 apart? It's entirely open source and free, enabling you to craft stunning images on your computer without any bounds. Apart from that, this new version also gives you more control over the image generation process compared to Midjourney. Another cool improvement that comes with this new version is that it allows you to fine tune the image generator with your own images. With this feature, you can craft unique images that are truly one of a kind. By feeding it different images of a specific character, the tool will seamlessly blend the best traits to craft the perfect image. The possibilities with this tool are truly boundless. Diving deeper into SDXL 1.0's superiority over Stable Diffusion 0.9 and its competition, the distinction becomes clear. At its core, it's cutting-edge architecture. SDXL 1.0 boasts a two-stage structure with a 3.5B parameter base model and a 6.6B parameter refiner, enabling it to produce richer, higher resolution images. While the prior Stable Diffusion model worked with 512 by 512 images, SDXL 1.0 operates on a 1024 by 1024 resolution. This means crisper images without the need for upscaling, unlike with tools like Midjourney. Moreover, fine-tuning Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 is notably easier than its predecessor. Now, if you want to get your hands on this tool, there are a few ways you can actually do that. You can either use Stable Diffusion on clipdrop.co slash Stable Diffusion and generate your images right away, or you can download the software on your own computer for free using the Stable Diffusion web UI which is probably going to be the best option if you have a powerful GPU with at least 6 to 8 gigabytes of VRAM. But no worries if your setup isn't that robust. The web UI is seamlessly compatible with Google Colab. Understanding the capabilities of Stable Diffusion XL 1.0 is one thing. Turning it into a money-making machine is another. Consider this, selling children's eBooks. A quick peek at Etsy.com reveals several children's ebooks listings, some boasting sales of up to 2,000 copies. It's evident there's a lucrative market with a high demand and limited supply. Contrast this with Amazon Kindle, where listings for the same genre are abundant. Thanks to its status as a dominant publishing platform and its cost free publishing, once your ebook is published and ready, Amazon Kindle is an excellent avenue to tap into and start seeing those earnings roll in. Let's get down to crafting our ebook. We'll be combining the powers of three AI tools for this project, ChatGPT, Stable Diffusion, and Canva.com. Before diving in, it's crucial to decide the type of children's ebook we want to create. There's a plethora of types, but our focus will be on crafting a vivid children's storybook brimming with captivating images. Our narrative will revolve around a young boy embarking on thrilling forest adventures before finding his way home. This concept is possibly bound to be a hit as it taps into the timeless appeal of adventure stories among children. Crafting a compelling story might seem daunting, but here's the catch. We won't be penning down a single word. We'll leave the heavy lifting to JatGPT as this AI tool is adept at crafting out a wide range of texts, from articles and blog posts to intricate stories. The small hurdle? ChatGPT doesn't usually produce content lengthy enough for a storybook, don't worry, we'll guide you through a simple workaround. Here's the plan. We'll navigate to ChatGPT and task it with weaving an adventure tale about a boy venturing through a forest, getting lost, and then triumphantly finding his way back home. To extract a longer narrative, simply ask ChatGPT to segment the story into chapters. Start by prompting it for the first chapter. Once that's done, 
move on to request the subsequent chapter and continue in this manner until your full story comes to life. Given that our target audience is children, it's essential to keep the story concise and engaging. Once ChatGPT crafts the tale, transfer it to a Word document. With the narrative in hand, read through to familiarize yourself with the scenes, ensuring the images you choose or create capably represent the story's essence. Next on our agenda is crafting captivating images for our book. As mentioned before, our tool of choice is Stable Diffusion XL 1.0. Why SDXL 1.0? It stands head and shoulders above other AI image generators, and you'll soon see its prowess in action. A common challenge with AI-driven character creation is the inability to replicate the exact image a second time. A minor tweak in the prompt can yield a completely different result. This inconsistency poses a challenge when you require several images of the same character. However, many have found a solution with ControlNet, a feature within Stable Diffusion. Leveraging the Open Pose Editor in ControlNet allows for the creation of varied poses for a consistent character. Let me show you how to do it. First off, you need the latest version of Stable Diffusion installed on your computer. Now, head over to the software. The next thing you need to do is to install ControlNet from Extensions. After installing ControlNet, go to Extensions and install Open Pose Editor Extension. Before using the blend of ControlNet and Open Pose Editor, you need to set up the control net model specifically focusing on the open pose model installation. With the open pose model and open pose editor extension now integrated, editing and posing stick figures becomes effortless. In the open pose editor tab, there's a specialized box assigned for all your manual edits. The extension mimics the shapes and colors of the open pose model, ensuring consistency and ease of use. Here, you can modify the stick figure's pose to your liking within the provided box. Your next move is to fashion an array of skeletons representing various poses of your character, like a frontal stance, side profile, and more. Once satisfied, click on Send to Text to Image to transfer the stick figure pose to ControlNet. Once finished, input your desired prompt in the designated prompt box. Any unwanted elements can be added to the negative prompt box. While crafting the prompt, ensure the background is set to white. This simplifies the character extraction process. After finalizing your settings, click on Generate. The AI will then bring your character to life in various poses. With the generated images in hand, you might need to make a few tweaks, eliminating any undesired elements. Then, the image-to-image -image feature can be utilized to position the character within different settings. And there you have it. Your character is brought to life showcased in an array of poses and vivid scenes. Moving on to our ebook's design, let's navigate to canva.com and look for a fitting ebook template. Once we spot the ideal one, we can start personalizing it. We'll paste in the text sourced from ChatGPT, followed by integrating the images we crafted. A tip, always save your images as PNG for effortless blending when embedding them in your book. Adjust your font style and size to give your ebook a captivating look. Once done, simply export it as a PDF. With your ebook ready, you can set it up for sale on Etsy. Alternatively, Amazon is a fantastic platform as well. One edge Amazon offers is its unique payout system. You even earn when someone merely reads your book, not just on purchases, paving the way for enhanced earning potential. Earlier in this video, we teased a special strategy to boost your book sales. Here's the secret. Leveraging the power of Pinterest, Pinterest isn't just any social platform. It garners millions of viewers every month. Moreover, funneling these viewers from Pinterest to your Amazon or Etsy page is a cakewalk. A straightforward method is to craft compelling pins about your book using Canva and share them on Pinterest. Ensure you embed a direct link back to your book in the pin's description, guiding potential readers right to your doorstep. For a deeper dive into this topic, click on the video appearing in the top right corner. That brings us to the end of today's video. We trust you found value in it and took away some new insights. Should you have any queries or thoughts, we welcome them in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Catch you in the next video.